Hello and welcome to Learn Mishoto. In this video, I'll share with you a fundamental of programming one and the fundamental of programming two sample question and the answer. This exam is designed for students in computer science, information science, information technology, information systems, software engineering, and computer science and engineering. I always create educational content like uh, this exam to help students. So if you want to up to date with the latest video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification uh, and let's get started to our uh, to question number one what's computer programming a process of designing and building computer hardware b a process of designing and building computer software c a process of designing and building computer networks d a process of designing and building computer peripheral the answer is b a computer programming is a process of designing, writing, testing, and maintaining software code that run on a computer. Question number two. Why it is important to study programming? A. To gain a deeper understanding of how computers work. B. To develop the problem-solving skills. C. To create the software application. D. All of the above. The answer is D. Studying programming can help individuals to gain a deeper understanding of how computer uh, work, develop problem solving skills, and create software applications. Question number three What are the different types of computer languages? A. Assembly, C, Python, B. High level language, low level language, machine language, C. Procedural, functional, and object oriented, D. All of the above. The answer is B. There are three types of computer language, high level, low level, and uh, machine language. In question number four, what is a procedural programming? A. A programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of functions or procedures. B. A programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of objects and the classes. C. The programming paradigm that emphasizes uh, the use of uh, recursion. D. A programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of array and uh, structure. The answer is A. A procedural programming is a programming paradigm that emphasizes uh, the use of functions and the procedure. Question number five. What is a functional programming? A. A programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of functions or procedure. B. A programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of objects and the classes. C. The programming a programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of recursion. D. A programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of array and the structure. The answer is A. Functional programming is a programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of functions or uh, procedure. Question number six. What is object-oriented programming? A. A programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of functions and the procedures. B. A programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of objects and the classes. C. A programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of a recursion. D. A programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of R and the structure. The answer is a B. Object oriented programming is a programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of objects and the class. Question number seven. What is the role of algorithm in programming? A. Algorithms are used to solve problems and create software application. B. Algorithms are used to design computer hardware. C. Algorithms are used to create computer networks. D. Algorithms are not important in programming. The answer is A. Algorithms are step-by-step -step procedure used to solve the problems and create software applications. Question number eight. What is the difference between an algorithm and a procedure? A. An algorithm is a series of steps uh, used to solve a problem, while a program is a set of instructions executed by a computer. B. An algorithm is written in high-level programming language, while a program is written in machine language. C. An algorithm is used for scientific calculations, while a program is used for business application. D. An algorithm is used for web development while a program is used for mobile application development. The answer is A. An algorithm is high level description of a solution to a problem while a program is a concrete implementation of that solution in a specific programming language. Question number 9. What is the flowchart? A. A diagram that represents the step in an algorithm. B. A diagram that represents the steps in a computer program. C. A diagram that represents the structure of a computer network. D. A diagram that represents the structure of a computer hardware. The answer is A. 
A flow chart is a diagram that represents the step in an algorithm. Question number 10. What is a CDO code? A. Programming language used to write a computer program. B. A simplified version of programming language used to write an uh, algorithm. C. An, uh, a programming language used to write a computer hardware drivers. D. A programming language used to write a computer network uh, protocol. The answer is B. CDO code is a simplified version of programming language used to write algorithm. Question number 11. What the purpose of data structure in programming? A. To store and organize the data in program. B. To execute an instruction in program. C. To debug a program. D. To compile a program. The answer is A. Data structure are used to store and organize data in program. Question number 12. What is the difference between array and the structure? A. An array is a collection of elements of the same data type, while structure is a collection of elements of different data type. B. An array is a collection of elements of different data type, while a structure is a collection of elements of the same data type. C. An array is a built-in data structure in programming language, while a structure is not. D. An array is used for a mathematical calculation, while a structure is used for text processing. The answer is A. An array is a collection of elements of the same data type, while structure is a collection of elements of different data types. Question number 13. What is the process of translating an algorithm into program uh, called A. Debugging, B. Compilation, C. Execution, D. Interpretation? The answer is B. The process of translating an algorithm into a program is called compilation. Question number 14. What is the structure or anatomy of C++ program? A. Header file, main function, and the body section. B. Function loop and array. C. Object class and the inheritance. D. Comment variable and the data types. The answer is A. Header file, main function, and the body section are the structure of a C++ program. Question number 15. What is variable? A. A name storage location in a program that holds value. B. A mathematical operation in a program. C. A control structure in a program. D. A type of data structure in a program. The answer is A. A variable is a name storage location in a program that holds a value. Question number uh, 16. What is the function of a uh, return statement A to exit a loop, B to skip the rest of a code in loop and continue with next iteration, C to return a value from a function, D to uh, create an infinite loop. The answer is C. The return statement is used to return a value uh, from a function. Question number 17. What is an expression in programming? A. A combination of variables, operators, and literals that evaluate to a value. B. A control structure that executes a set of statements repeatedly. C. A type of data structure that stores multiple values of the same data type. D. A type of function that returns a value. The answer is A. An expression is a combination of variables, operators, and literals that evaluate to a value. Question number 18. What is a pointer? A. A variable that stores the memory address of another variable. B. A control structure that executes a set of statements repeatedly. C. A type of data structure that stores multiple values of the same data type. D. A type of function that returns a value. The answer is A. A pointer is a variable that stores the memory address of another variable. Question number 19. What is dynamic memory allocation? A. A process of reserving a memory for a program at a compile time. B. A process of reserving a memory for a program at runtime. C. A process of freeing memory used by a program. D. A process of allocating memory for a program input and output. The answer is B. Dynamic memory allocation is a process of reserving memory for a program at runtime. Question number 20. What is the purpose of function in programming? A. To perform a specific task or calculation. B. To store and organize data in program. C. To control the flow of execution in a program. D. To represent the collection of related data in the program. The answer is A. The purpose of function in programming is to perform a specific task or calculation. Question number 21. What is recursion in programming? A. Function that calls itself. 
B. A data structure used to store data in a program. C. A control structure used to execute a set of statements repeatedly. D. A type of loop used to iterate over an array. The answer is A. A recursion in programming is a function that called itself. Question number 22. What is the correct syntax for uh, including a header file in C++ for a system? The answer is A. Because header file names are enclosed in angular bracket for a system header file and it is enclosed by double quote for a user defined uh, header file. Question number 23. What is the entry point of C++ program? A. Main. B. Start. C. Execute. D. Run. The answer is A. The entry point uh, of C++ program is the main function. Question number 24. What's the purpose of using namespace std statement in C++? A. It declares the standard library namespace. B. It declares the global namespace. C. It imports all the symbol from the std namespace into the current uh, scope. D. It declares the std namespace as an alias. The answer is using namespace std statement in C++ imports all the symbols from the std namespace into the current scope so that uh, they can be used without std prefix. Question number 25. What is the main purpose of input output statement in a program? A. To read input from the users and display output to the users. C. To manipulate data in the programs. C. To perform calculation in program. D. To store data in program. The answer is A. The main purpose of input output statement in a program is to read input uh, from the users and display uh, output to uh, the user. Question number 26. What is the syntax for while loop in C++? The answer is B. The syntax for while loop in C++ is while, then in the bracket condition, then we have curly brace, and in the curly brace we have a body. Question number 27. What is the syntax for do I loop in C++? The correct syntax for do I loop uh, in C++ is do, then in curly brace we have a body, then uh, we have while in the bracket condition, and then we have a semicolon. Question number 28. What is the correct syntax for ending a C++ statement? A. Semicolon. B. Colon. C. Full stop. D. Comma. The answer is A. The correct syntax for ending a C++ statement is to use semicolon. Question number 29. What is the purpose of C in object in C++? To read input from the user, to write output to the console, to format output to console, to format input to the user. The answer is A. The C in object in C++ is used to read input from the user. Question number 30. What is the purpose of C out object in C++? To read input from the user, to write out to the to format output to the console, to format input from the user. The answer is B. Uh, C out object in C++ is used to write object to the console. Question number 31. What is the purpose of indel manipulators in C++? A. To insert a new line character into the stream. B. To select the width of the output field. C. To set a partition of the output field. D. All of the above. The answer is A. The indel manipulator is used to insert a new line characters into the output stream. Question number 32. Which one of the following is a valid way to declare an integer variable x with a value 5 in C++? A. Int x is equal to 5, then semicolon. B. Int x is equal to 5, semicolon. C. Integer x is equal to 5, then semicolon. D. X int is equal to 5, semicolon. The answer is A. 
a valid way to declare an integer variable x with a value 5 in C++ is int x is equal to 5, then semicolon. Question number 33. What is the correct syntax for uh, commenting out a single line of uh, code in C++ A? The answer is uh, B. The correct uh, syntax for commenting out a single line of code in C++ is to use uh, two forward slashes. Question number 34. What is the correct syntax for declaring a variable in C++? A int variable comma B variable int uh, semicolon C int variable is equal to var uh, value uh, semicolon D value is equal to int variable uh, semicolon. The answer is C. The correct syntax for declaring a variable in C++ is to specify the data type followed by the variable name and optionally an initial value. Question number 35. What is the purpose of compiling and running a program? A. Converting the program source code into machine language and executing it. B. Converting the program machine language into source code and executing it. C. Converting a program high level language into assembly language and executing it. D. Converting the program assembly language into high level language and executing it. D. Converting the program's assembly language into high level language and uh, executing it. The answer is A. The process of compiling and running the program involves converting the program source code into machine language and uh, executing it. Question number 36. What is the basic element of programming? A. Identifier, variable, literals, constants, keywords, comments, data type, expression, operator, statement. B. Array, structure, pointer, function, recursion, file management. C. Selection statement, loop, flow, control statement. D. Machine language, assembly language, high level language. The answer is A. The basic element of programming include identifier, variables, literals, constants, keywords, comments, data types, expression and operator and uh, statement. Question number 37. What is the type of variable uh, price in the following declaration? Uh, double price is equal to 10.99 semicolon. A int B double B uh, car. The answer is B. The data type of the variable price in the following declaration is double. Question number 38. What is the output of the following C++ program? The answer is B. The output of the following C++ program is x plus y is equal to 7, z times y is equal to 7.0, x divided by y is equal to 2, x modulus y is equal to 1. Question number 39. What is the output of the following C++ program? The answer is uh, B. What is the correct syntax for declaring a character variable named a grade and initializing it to A? The, the answer is A. The correct syntax for declaring a character variable named grade and initializing it to the value A is car grade is equals to single quotation A then semicolon. Question number 41. What is the output of the following C++ program? A. X is the largest. B. Y is the largest. C. Z is the largest. D. No output will be generated or as there is a syntax error. The answer is A. The output of the following C++ program is X is the largest. Question number 42. What is the difference between local variable and global variable in C++? A. Local variable are declared inside a function while global variable are declared outside any function. B. Local variable have a smaller scope than global variable. C. A global variable can be accessed from any part of program while local variable can only be accessed from 
Within the function, they are declared in D all of the upper. The answer is D. Local variables are declared inside the function have smaller scope than global variables and can only be accessed from uh, within the function. They are declared in global variables are declared outside of any function and they can be accessed from any part of the program. Question number four three. What is the difference between for loop and uh, while loop in C++? A for loop is used for iterating over a sequence of values while while loop is used for executing a block of code repeatedly until a certain condition is met. B, F, C, there is no difference between a loop, uh, a file, uh, while loop is used for iterating over element of an array. The answer is A. A for loop is used for iterating over sequence of value while a while loop is used for executing a block of code repeatedly until certain condition is met. Question number 44. What is the output of the following code? A, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, D, no output will be generated. The answer uh, is A. The code declares an integer variable i and initializes i to 0. It then enters a value loop that repeatedly uh, prints the value of i and increments it until i is no longer uh, less than uh, 5. So the answer is uh, A, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Question number 45. What is the syntax of uh, high-level programming language? A, uh, the set of uh, rules that defines how the program uh, source code should be written. B, a set of rules that defines how the programs should be executed. C, a set of rules that defines how a program machine language should be written. D, a set of rules that defines how a program should be uh, debugged. The answer is A. The syntax of high-level programming language is a set of rules that defines how the program source code should be written. Question number 46. What is the statement in a programming? A. A single instruction that uh, performs a specific task. B. A collection of instructions that perform a specific task. C. A type of data structure used to store a data in program. D. A type of function used to return a value. The answer is A. A statement in a programming is a single instruction that performs a specific task. Question number 47. What is the control stat uh, structure in programming? A. A statement that controls the flow of instruction in program. B. A statement that performs mathematical calculation. C. A statement that stores data in program. D. A statement that manages input and output operation within a file. The answer is A. Control structure in a programming are statements that control the flow of uh, execution in a program. Question number 48. What is a selection statement in programming? A. A control structure that allows a program to execute different statements depending on the condition. B. A control structure that executes a set of statements repeatedly. C. A control structure that transfers a control to another part of program. D. A control structure that returns a value from a function. The answer is A. A selection statement in programming is a control structure that allows program to execute different statements depending on condition. Question number 49. What is a loop in programming? A. A control structure that executes a set of uh, statements repeatedly. B. A control structure that different statements depending on condition. C. A control structure that transfer a con returns a value from a function. The answer is A. A loop in uh, programming is a control structure that executes a set of statements repeatedly. Question number 50. What is the array in programming? A. A collection of elements of the same data type. B. A collection of elements of different data type. C. A built-in data structure in programming language. D. A type of a control structure used to execute a set of statements repeatedly. The answer is A. Question number 51. What is structure in programming? A. A collection of elements of different data type. B. A collection of elements of the same data type. C. A built-in data structure in programming language. D. A type of control structure used to execute a set of statements repeatedly. 
The answer is A. A structure in programming is a collection of elements of different data types. Question number 52. What is the correct syntax for a C++ if statement? The answer is uh, B. The correct syntax for a C++ if statement is if that in the bracket condition then curly brace statement. Question number 53. What is the correct syntax for C++ switch statement? The answer is A. The correct syntax for C++ switch statement is switch then in the bracket expression then curly brace statement. Question number 54. What is an identifier in C++? A. A keyword that has special meaning in the language. B. A name given to a variable, function, or other entity in the program. C. A value that is stored in memory. D. A type of data that can be used to represent numbers. The answer is B. An identifier in C++ is a name given to variable, functions, or other entity in a program. Question number 55. What is the uh, literal in C++? A type of data that can be used to represent the number. B. A value that is stored in memory. C. A name given to variable function and the other entity in the program. D. A value that appears directly in the source code of a program. The answer is uh, D. A literal in C++ is a value that appears directly in the source code of a program. Question number 56. What is a keyword in C++? A name given to variable, function, or other entity in the program. A value that is stored in memory. A type of data that can be used to represent the number. A word that has special meaning in the language and cannot be used as identifier. The answer is D. A keyword in C++ is a word that has special meaning in the language and cannot be used as identifier. Question number 57. What is a data type in C++ A keyword that has special meaning in the language B a types of data that has or that can be used to represent the number a value that is stored in memory a name given to variable function and the other entity in a program the answer is uh, B a data type in C++ is type of data that can be used to represent the numbers characters and the other values Question number 58. What is the difference between uh, equal operator and uh, assignment operator in C++? A. Equal operator uh, test for equality while assignment operator assigns uh, a value to a variable. B. The assignment operator tests for equality while the uh, equal operator assigns for a value to a variable. C. The equal operator assigned for value to variables while uh, the assignment operator test for equality. D. There is no difference between uh, these two operators in C++. The answer is A. The equal operator tests for uh, equality while the assignment operator assigns a value to a variable. Question number 59. Which of the following is a valid C++ identifier? A. 1, 2, 3 identifier. B. Underscore identifier. C. Identifier then dollar sign. D. All of the above. The answer is B. Underscore identifier is a valid C++ identifier. Question number 60. What is the difference between a variable and a constant in C++? You can use this int. Int x is equal to 5. Constant int y is equal to 10. A. A variable that can be changed during runtime while a constant cannot. B. A variable has a fixed value while a constant can take on different value. C. A variable has a fixed memory location while a constant can be stored in different memory location. D. There is no difference between um, a variables and a constant in C++. The answer is A. A variable can be changed during runtime while a constant cannot. Question number 61. What is the correct syntax for C++ loop? The answer is A. The correct syntax for for loop is 
for in the bracket initialization semicolon condition semicolon update update means increment or decrement then we have a statement in car reverse question number 62 what is the output of the following c++ program a x is greater than y b y is greater than or equal to x c x d y the answer is a the output of the program is x is greater than y question number 63 what is the output of the following c++ program 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, no output will be generated. The answer is A. The output of the program is 0, 1, 2. Question number 64. What is the output of the following C++ program? A, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 4, 0, 1, 2, no output will be generated. The answer is B. The output of the program is 0, 1, 2, 4. Question number 65. What is the output of the following uh, C++ program? The answer is C. Question number 66. What is an array in C++? A. A collection of variables of different data type. B. A collection of variables of the same data type that are stored in contiguous memory location. B. C. Collection of functions. D. A collection of conditional statements. The answer is a B. An array in C++ is a collection of variables of the same data type that's stored in contiguous memory location. Each element in the array can be accessed by its index. Question number 67. What is an array initialization? A. Statement that creates an array with a specific number of elements. B. Statement that assigns a value to element of the same or of an array. Question number 67. What is an array initialization? A. Statement that creates an array with specific number of elements. B. Statement that assigns a value to uh, the element of an array. C. Statement that declares the data type of an array. D. Statement that frees the memory used uh, by an array. The answer is B. An array initialization is a statement that assigns a value to element of an array. 68. What is an array declaration? A. Statement that creates an array with a specific number of elements. B. Statement that initializes an array with a default value. C. Statement that assigns a value to the element of an array. D. Statement that frees a memory used by an array. The answer is A. An array declaration is a statement that creates an array with a specific number of elements. Question number 69. What is the size of an array? A. Number of elements in the array. B. The amount of memory allocated for the array. C. The data type of the array. D. The value of first element in the array. The answer is A. The size of an array is the number of elements it contains. Question number 70. How do you access the first element of an array in C? The answer is A. The first element of an array in C++ can be accessed using index 0. The answer is A. The syntax for accessing an element of two-dimensional array in C++ is array, then angle bracket, row, then angle bracket, column. Question number 72. What is the correct syntax for passing an array to a function in C++? The answer is uh, D. The correct syntax for passing an array to a function in C++ is function name then in the bracket, int then uh, asterisk array. Question number 73. How do you find the size of an array in C++? The correct answer uh, used to find size of an array in C++ is C. Question number 74. What is the correct syntax for declaring uh, an array in C++? The correct syntax for declaring an array in C++ is int r, then in angle bracket, t, semicolon, where t is the number of elements in the array. Question number 75. What is the correct syntax for declaring an array in C++? The answer is A. The correct syntax for declaring an array in C++ is rnm, then angle bracket, size, then semicolon, where the size is a number of elements in the array. Question number 76. How do you access the first element of an array in C++? A. 
B C D The answer is A. The last element of an array in C++ can be accessed using the index size minus 1. Question number 78. What is a multidimensional array in C++? An array that can store only one type of data. An array that can store multiple types of data. An array that has more than one index. An array that has more than one dimension. The answer is D. Multidimensional array in C++ is an array that has more than one dimension. Question number 79. What is the correct syntax for initializing two-dimensional array in C++? The correct answer is uh, B. Question number 18. What is the syntax for accessing an element of three-dimensional array in C++? A, B, C, D. The syntax for accessing the element of a three-dimensional array in C++ is array, then angle bracket divs, then angle bracket row, then angle bracket column. Question number 81. What is the pointer in C++? A variable that stores the memory address of another variable, the variable that stores the value of another variable, the variable that stores the result of function call, a variable that stores a boolean value. The answer is A. Pointer in C++ is a variable that stores the memory address of another variable. Question number 82. How do you declare a pointer in C++? A B C D. The best answer is A. The pointer in C++ is declared using a syntax pointer type asterisk pointer name then semicolon. Question number 83. What is the difference between pointer and reference in C++? A pointer stores a memory address of another variable while a reference is an alias for variable. B. A pointer can be null while a reference cannot see a pointer can be reassigned uh, to a point to different memory location while reference cannot d all of the above the answer is d the difference between pointer and reference in c++ is that pointer stores a memory address of uh, variables while reference is alias for variable additionally pointer can be null and they can be as reassigned to point to a different memory location while a reference cannot Question number 84. What is the purpose of uh, constant uh, keyword uh, or const keyword when declaring a pointer in C++? A. It makes the pointer immutable so that it cannot be reassigned to a point to different memory location. B. It makes the value pointer to uh, by the pointer mutable so that it cannot be uh, modified. C. It makes the pointer uh, a constant value so that it cannot be changed. D. It has no effect on the pointer uh, declaration. The answer is B. The purpose of uh, const keyword uh, when declaring a pointer in C++ is to make a value uh, pointer to uh, by the pointer immutable so that it cannot be modified. Question number 85. What is one dimensional array? Array with only one element, an array with two dimension, an array with multiple dimension, an array with only one index or subscript. The answer is D. A one dimensional array is a collection of elements of the same data type stored in contiguous uh, memory location with each element accessed using a single index or a subscript. Question number 86. What is a multi dimensional array? An array with only one index or subscript, an array with two dimensions, an array with multiple dimensions, an array with only one element. The answer is C. A multiple dimensional array is an array with more than one index or subscript, allowing for storage of elements in multiple dimensions or layers. Question number 87. What is a pointer in programming? A variable that stores the memory address of another variable, a variable that stores the value of another variable, a variable that stores the data type of another variable, a variable that stores the size of another variable. The answer is A. Question number 88. What is pointer arithmetic? A. Process of performing arithmetic operation on pointer. B. A process of converting pointer to integer. C. A process of converting integer to pointer. D. A process of converting pointer to string. The answer is A. Pointer arithmetic involves using arithmetic operators like inc uh, uh, plus, minus, increment, decrement to perform operation on a pointer. Question number 89. What is a pointer to a pointer? A variable that stores the memory address of a pointer, B a variable that stores the value of pointer, C a value a variable that stores a type of a pointer, 
the variable that stores the size of the pointer? The answer is A. A pointer to pointer uh, is a variable that holds the memory address of another pointer, allowing for indirect access to the value pointed to by the second pointer. Question number 90. What is a function a pointer? A pointer that points to a function, a pointer that points to an array, a pointer points to structure pointer that points to a file. The answer is A, a pointer that points to a function. A pointer function is a pointer that holds the memory address of a function, allowing for indirect calling of that function. Question number 91. Which one of the following is the correct syntax for declaring a pointer variable in C++? A, B, C, D. The answer is D. The answer is D. This declares a pointer variable named ptr that points to a variable of data type int and uh, uh, the symbol or the x symbol or the asterisk symbol indicate that the variable is a pointer. Question number 92. What is the purpose of uh, ampersand or end operator in C++? To create a reference to um, variables, to create a pointer to uh, variables, to perform a logical end operation, to perform a bitwise end operations. The answer is A. The end symbol or the ampersand symbol in C++ is to, uh, used to create a reference to a variables allowing for indirect access to that variable. Question number 93. What is the purpose of uh, asterisk or these symbols uh, operator in uh, C++? A to create a reference to variable, B to create pointer to variable, C to perform multiplication operation, D to perform dereferencing operator. The answer is D. Uh, this asterisk symbol in C++ is used to dereference de a pointer allowing for direct access to the value pointed to uh, by the pointer. Question number 94. What is the function declaration? A statement that defines the name, return type and the parameter of a function. B a statement that calls a function. C a statement that initializes a function. D a statement that frees memory used by a function. The answer is A. A function declaration is a statement that declares the names, return type, and the parameter of a function. Question number 95. What is the syntax for declaring a function in C++? A, B, C, D. The answer is a B. Question number 96. What is the function definition? A, the statement that defines the name, return type, uh, parameter of function. A statement that calls a function, a statement that initializes a function, a statement that frees a memory used by a function. The answer is um, A. A function definition is a statement that uh, both declares and defines the name, return type, and the parameter of function. Question number 97. What is a return statement in function? A. a statement that returns a value from a function B, a statement that terminates a function C, a statement that initializes a function D, a statement that frees a uh, memory used uh, by a function. The answer is A. A return statement is a statement that in a function that returns a value to uh, the calling function. Question number 98. What is a parameter in a function? A. A value passed to a function when it is called. B. A value returned from a function. C. A value stored in a function D a value stored to initialize a function. The answer is A. A parameter is a value that is passed to a function when it is called, allowing the function to operate on the value. Question number 99. What is a local variable in a function? A variable declared inside a function that can only be accessed within that function, a variable declared outside function that can be accessed by any function. A variable declared inside a function that can be accessed by any function. A variable declared outside a function that can only be accessed within that function. The answer is A. A local variable is a variable declared inside a function that can only be accessed within that function and it is not visible outside of that function. Question number 100. What is a callback function? A function that is passed as an argument to another function and is called when a certain event uh, occurs. A function that calls another function. A function that returns a value. A function that initializes another function. The answer is A. A 
callback function is a function that is passed as an argument to another function and it is called when a certain event occurs. Question number uh, 101. What is a function object? A. An object that behaves like a function. B. An object that stores a data element of the same data type. An object that is used to control uh, the flow of program. An object that is used to manage a memory uh, allocation. The answer is A. A function object is an object that behaves like a function, allowing for use of uh, function like behavior in object oriented programming. Question number 102. What is a local variable in a function? A. A variable declared inside a function that can only be accessed within that function. B. A variable that uh, uh, declared outside a function that can be accessed by any function. C. A variable declared inside a function that can be accessed by any function. D. A variable declared outside function that can be only accessed within that function. The answer is a variable uh, declared inside a function that can be only accessed within that function is, is called a local variable. Question number 103. What is function template? A generic function that can operate on different data type. B a function that returns value. C a function that calls another function. D a function that initializes another function. The answer is uh, A. A function template is a generic function that uh, can operate on different data type, allowing for code reuse and flexibility. Question number 104. What is a function overloading? A. Defining multiple functions within the same name but different parameter. B. Defining multiple functions with the same name and the same parameter. D. Defining a function that can operate on different data type. D. Defining a function that can operate on different number of parameters. The answer is um, A. Function overloading is defining multiple functions with the same name but different parameters allowing for multiple uh, functions to perform similar tasks with different input. Question number 105. What is the purpose of header file in C++? To declare a function and the variables that are used in the program. To define function and the variables that are used in program. To import libraries that are used in program. To export function and the variables that are used in program. The answer is A. A header file in C++ is used to declare a function and a variable that are used in program, allowing the compiler to understand the types and the names of these entities. Question number 106. What is library in programming? A collection of compiled functions and a class that can be used in the program. A collection of source code files that can that make up or make up a program. A collection of data type and the variable used in program. D. A collection of documentation file for the program. The answer is A. A library in programming is a collection of pre-compiled functions and the class that can be used in program, allowing for code reuse and the modular programming. Question number uh, 107. What is the purpose of uh, open uh, function in C++ uh, file stream? A. To close file. To open file. C. To read data from file. D. To write data to file. The answer is uh, B. The open function in C++ uh, file stream is used to open a file allowing the program to read from uh, or write uh, to that file. Question number 108. What is the purpose of a close function in C++ file stream? A. To close file. B. To open file. C. To read data from file. D. To write data to file. The answer is A. The close function in C++ file stream is used to close a file that has been previously opened, ensuring uh, no data or no further data can be read from or written to that file. Question number 109. What is the purpose of uh, write uh, function in C++ file string A to read data from a file B to write data to a file C to read and write data to a file D to perform data for output to the console The answer is um, B The write function in C++ file stream is used to write data into a file allowing a program uh, to save a data to a file for a later use or retrieval Question number 110. What is the purpose of uh, the read function in C++ file string? A. To read data from a file. B. To write data to a file. C. To read and write data to a file. D. To format data for output to the console. The answer is A. The read function in C++ file string is used to read data from a file allowing the program to retrieve data that has been previously saved uh, to a file. Question number 111. What is the purpose of using directive in C++ namespace? A. To import all the number of namespace 
into the current scope B to import the specific member of um, namespace into a current scope C to export all a member of namespace for the current scope D to export a specific member of uh, namespace uh, from the current scope the answer is A using directive in C++ namespace is used to import all members of namespace into the current scope and allowing them to be used without the need for a fully qualified names. Question number 112. What is an exception in C++? A. An error that occurs during the file execution of program that can be handled by the program. B. An error that can be or that can occur during the execution of program that cannot be handled by the program. C. A warning that occurs during the compilation of program that can be ignored. C. A warning that occurs during the compilation of program that cannot be uh, ignored. The answer is A. An exception in C++ is an error that occurs during the execution of program that can be handled by program, allowing for a graceful recovery from uh, the error. Question number 113. What is the purpose of a try-catch block in C++? A. To handle exception that may be thrown by a block of code. B. To prevent exception from being thrown by the block of code. C. To catch all errors that occurs during the execution of program. D. To throw an exception when a condition is met. The answer is A. The try-catch block in C++ is used to handle exception that may be thrown by a block of code allowing the program to recover from error that occurred during uh, execution. Question number 114. What is the component of function in C++? A. Variable and operator. B. Argument and uh, parameter. C. Class and object. D. Loop and the condition. The component of function in C++ include argument and parameter which are used to pass a value to function and receives value from the function respectively. Question number 115. What is the difference between passing parameter by value and passing parameter by reference in C++? Passing parameter by value creates a copy of original argument while passing parameter by reference use original argument directly. B. Passing parameter by value use original argument directly while passing parameter by reference create a copy of original argument c passing parameter by value and the passing parameter by reference are the same thing d passing parameter by value and the passing parameter by reference are not possible in c++ the answer is a passing parameter by value create a copy of the original argument while passing parameter by reference use the original argument directly allowing for change made uh, to the argument to uh, persist uh, outside uh, the function. Question number 116. Which one of the following best describes a homogeneous data type in C++? A. Data type that can hold a value of different data type or different types. B. A data type that can hold only one value at time. C. A data type that can hold value of the same type. D. A data type that does not exist in C++. The answer is uh, C. A homogeneous data type in C++ is a data type that can uh, hold a value of the same type such as an array of uh, integers or a string of characters. Question number 117. What is the difference between array and structured data type in C++? A. Array are used to store multiple value of the same type while structured data types are used to store multiple value of different type. B. Array can hold value of different type while structured data type can hold value of the same data type. Uh, C. Array and structured data type are the same thing. D. Array and structured data type are not possible in C++. The answer is mm, A. Array are used to store multiple value of the same type, while structured data type are used to store multiple value of different type, allowing for creation of complex data structure. Question number 118. What is a string manipulation using array in C++? A. A way to combine a multiple string into single string. B. A way to search for a specific character in string. C. A way to perform operation on individual character in string using an array. D. A way to create an array of string. The answer is C. String manipulation using array in C++ is the way to perform operation on individual characters in a string uh, using an array and learning for manipulation and the modification of strings. Question number 119. What, is the, uh, what are multidimensional array in C++? Array that can hold value of different type. Array that can hold value of the same type but in different dimension. 
array that can hold only one value at a time, array that uh, uh, do not exist in C++. The answer is B. Multidimensional array in C++ are array that can hold value of the same type but in different dimension, allowing for storage of data in multiple dimension or layers. Question number 120. What is pointer arithmetic in C++? A way to perform arithmetic operation in pointer, a way to perform arithmetic operation on variable using pointer, a way to perform arithmetic operation on array using pointer, a pointer arithmetic does not exist in C++. The answer is A. A pointer arithmetic in C++ is a way to uh, perform arithmetic operation on pointer such as incrementing or decrementing the memory address uh, they point to. Question number 121. How are a string and a pointer related in C++? A string and a pointer are the same things. A string are uh, stored as array of characters and the pointer can be used uh, to access those characters. String are stored as array of pointer and the pointer can be used to access those pointer. A string and a pointer are not related in C++. The answer is uh, B. A string in C++ are stored as uh, array of characters and a pointer uh, that can be used to access those characters allowing for the manipulation and the modification of a string. Question number 122. What are uh, writing and reading uh, mode in C++ file input and output? A different way to write and read data to uh, end from a file. B different way to open file. A different way to close a file. A different way to delete a file. The answer is A. Writing and reading mode in C++ file input and output are different ways to write or read data to and from a file, allowing for storage and retrieval of data in a file. Question number 123. How do you write uh, a file to, in C++? A. Open file in write mode. Use stream insertion operator to write data to the file and close the file. B. Open the file in read mode. Use stream extraction uh, operator to write data into the file and close the file. Open the file in read uh, or write, uh, write mode and uh, use stream uh, insertion operator to write data to the file and close the file. D. Writing the file is not possible in C++. The answer is uh, A. To write a file in C++, the file must be opened in uh, write mode. The stream insertion operator can be used to write data to the file and uh, the file must be closed. Question number 124. What are types of file in C++ file input and output? Text and image file, binary and ASCII email file, sequential and random access file, file and directories. The answer is a B. The types of file in C++ file input and output include binary and ASCII files which differ in the representation of uh, data and uh, the way they are stored on disk. Question number 125. What is a graphics in C++? A. A way to create uh, and manipulate image in the program. B. A way to create and manipulate the text in program. C. A way to create and manipulate audio in program. D. A graphics, uh, D, a graphics does not exist in C++. The answer is um, A. Graphics in C++ are used to create and manipulate image in a program, allowing for creation of graphical user interface and other visual elements.